Sure. And forget the mashed potatoes and the stuffing. We're cooking up some side dishes that will wow your family. Chef Ryan Nolan joins us now from Mahoney's Grill in Oshkosh with another great recipe. Hi, Ryan. Morning, Rachel. How are you? Good. I'm excited about this. Good. You're using potatoes this time, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, we're not going to do the mash like you were saying. We're going to make some au gratin potatoes. Why which not? I've always loved since I was a kid. And, you know, we have some uh, uh, really good success with them here at the restaurant. And why can't you make them at home? But, you know, this is a good excuse to go out and buy a fun piece of equipment like this mandolin. Kind of uh, an odd looking contraption. And if you buy one, this is a commercial one. So you might not find one this diesel for your house. But you could, you know, go to a kitchen supply store like a Cook's Corner or a Kitchen Collection and find, you know, one of the ones that, uh, you know, they're made of plastic, but the blades are super sharp. They're great for slicing, great for making salads and things like that. So there's many uses to them. But if you wanted to buy one of these, you know, jump on the internet and they're about 150 bucks and it's a great way to do slicing for this. You can use uh, different attachments to it to uh, julienne and, and even cut your own french fries with cool. it too. But be very careful because it is sharp. Can you show us how it works? So, yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to start slicing our potatoes. So we've got this blade here, and we're just going to drag our potato across. And most people use a guard, so you don't come in and hit your palm on that. I don't. I don't know, any, I don't know many chefs that do use guards. So. so we have our perfect sliced potatoes. Now, if you didn't have one of these, go ahead and use a food processor. You know, you just stick the potato in, get our nice slices, and we're going to add them to our mixing bowl. And now the thickness you want, you know, you don't want uber paper thin, but you don't want them super thick either. So we have, you know, I don't know, what would this be in metric? What, two millimeters maybe, something like that? I don't quite know the standard size on that, maybe a sixteenth of an inch. How many potatoes are do? you using for this? Uh, we're going to do about two pounds. So depending on the size of your potato, it'd be anywhere from three to four, maybe two if you get the really big ones. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and add the potatoes to our mixing bowl. And then to that, we have one onion that we julienned. If you wanted to go with less onion, you know, go ahead and cut it down. This is about one medium white onion. We're going to add that right to there raw because we're going to be baking this all later. So we're going to kind of just get this all mixed up together. Okay. And then we've got a pan that we've already oiled with a little bit of food release spray. Now you can use just like your standard brownie pan or something like that. And we're going to start just layering these right on the bottom. A nice thin layer with our potatoes and our onions. So once we get it kind of spread out nicely, we're just going to well, salt and pepper it. So we've got some cracked black pepper and some kosher salt. And then to that, we've got some shredded Swiss cheese. So this recipe, I've Set about a pound of Swiss cheese. If you want to go with more, you can. If you want to go with less, just as well. And if you wanted to switch out and change it up, add some cheddar, throw a layer of sliced ham in here too, and you're going to have a great entree instead of right. a salad or a side. Uh, so we're also going to drizzle just a little half and half on there to add the moisture to help cook our potatoes and make it more rich. And then we would spread another layer and keep going on and on all the way till we get to the top. You're going to wrap that with aluminum foil, put it in the oven for about an hour, or you're going to test it by seeing uh, if a toothpick goes through and the potatoes feel crunchy. And if they don't, you're all set. You're going to take it out. You're going to garnish it with uh, some breadcrumbs and a little bit of uh, Parmesan cheese and some dried parsley. Put it back in the oven for just a bit, and this is what you're going to come out uh, with. Beautiful it looks layered all gratin potato. Oh, it looks delicious. Ryan, thanks so much. He's sharing the recipes with us, all the recipes that he's making today. Go to fox11online.com, click on Good Day Wisconsin, and we'll check back with you again next hour.